Hey guys, it's William the Pool Guy. I wanted to hop on here and make a short and quick video to the point. You went to go open your swimming pool this year and when you went to start your pump it either flipped your breaker or it's not and it's making a humming noise and it's not cranking. So you're thinking about buying a new pump. Before you buy a new pump, let's see if this trick can help you out there. So besides going into detail explaining why your pump does this, I'm just going to get straight to the point and do the video where you can see how to fix it. That way you can get your pump going and you can get back swimming, guys. Today we are talking about a Hayward PowerFlow LX. If this is not the pump, stick around to the end of the video. I will show you others. All right, guys. So here's the back of your pump. Now what we need to do is see this little cap right here. This is covering the shaft to take and keep the shaft covered and sealed. So we need to take this cap off. So you're gonna to have to have two screwdrivers. I like the small little flathead and then I have a bigger flathead to take and spin the shaft. So then what we do first is we take behind this lip, we're gonna get this cap off. Sometimes you take this little flathead, sometimes you have to take your bigger flathead and kind of beat it in a little bit to help pry it off. So now you just get it pried out a little bit and you go around and the point of it, we, we want to get this cap off and expose. All right, now that we have this cap off, it exposes this shaft. So what we want to do is you see this little slotted line inside the shaft that's for a flathead. So now we take our bigger flathead and we stick inside that slotted line. And what we want to do is we want to take and spin this shaft. Now here's the deal. Sometimes with this shaft, it's harder to spin and sometimes it's easier to spin. So what we're doing is we're breaking this shaft free of any corrosion in there to help it spin. Okay. So what I always do is I like to go back and forth, make sure I got it good. Now, after that, I always take, before I cover it back up and everything like that, I always take and I like to plug the power in and make sure it kicks and spins. All right, because sometimes we might have to take and spin it a little bit more. All right. Now, plug it in real quick, let it kick and spin, unplug it. Then, if you're good to go, you take your cap, put your cap back on. I like to get it lined up. Then I take my bigger flathead. Then I take my bigger flathead. Now you're good to go. If your pump has a back cover like this, what you will do is take the screw out the back cap to expose the shaft. Then follow the other steps in the video. Oh, 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 oh,